What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling. Let's talk about AEW. It was advertised ahead of time. AEW last night were airing the all-in backstage footage, the unseen footage, all to get a seemingly cheap ratings pop. Um, but I don't even think they care about ratings. I'll get onto this in a minute. Firstly, I want to show you all that I am was an AEW fan. I've supported the company, been there, done that, literally got the t-shirt. I went to All In, I was there live. I paid my hard-earned money for a ticket to support the product. However, in the last, I don't know, how long's All In been? Like 10 months, eight months, something like that. I've just switched off. And I think it also has something to do with my own professional wrestling career has been advancing to a point where I'm getting information and I'm getting advice and I'm being taught things from people that have been doing this a lot longer than me who know how the business should work. Um, and they have made me completely switch off and I, I really dislike the AEW style of wrestling now. The lack of psychology, the video game uh, style, the, the lack of selling, the getting pile-drived and then going, ah, and then throwing a forearm, like... It just doesn't make sense, and every time I watch it, I get annoyed because I'm like, that's just not how the industry should work. Um, so that's why I've switched off AEW, but once again, the incident last night got me, uh, it got my attention. AEW's ticket sales have been at an all-time low. Their ratings are at an all-time low every single week. It screams to me that Tony doesn't really care about this and they're not going to go under because as long as he's got the money to keep funding it, he's going to keep funding it. At least I thought they didn't care about the ratings. Then this all-in footage came out and it seems like the whole thing is just a cheap ratings pop in a response to CM Punk's MMA Hour podcast. Now, if Punk had been lying on the podcast and Punk turned around and said, yeah, Jack Perry, he threw a punch at me. I then threw a punch at him. We got in a big scuffle. He hit me with a chair. He told me he wanted to kill my dog. Then, okay. I mean, I personally still think from a business side of things, Tony should have just ignored it, swept it under the rug, given it no response. Because the more attention you bring to these things, the more eyes you get on it, the more people get involved, the more it looks like there's an element of truth to it. Punk didn't say that, though. If, I, if he did say all those things, I disagree, but I could understand why Tony would then air footage of those things not happening. To prove that Punk had been slandering AEW and that, you know, it was it was all a load of BS. But everything Punk said on the podcast happened in the video. I mean, he, I can't let you get close. I then pushed him and got him in a chokehold. That was it. That was what Punk said. And in the video, I mean, granted, I, I think a lot of people are missing it. Punk did attempt, uh, it looked like a pie face or some sort of punch. He attempted one after they were broken up or he definitely threw his arm in some sort of manner. But he didn't connect. He didn't connect with a punch. He never said that he did. He never said that that happened. He said it was a push and a chokehold. Now, the audio for the security footage wasn't there either. I don't know if this was intentional or if the security camera just didn't have any audio when it recorded it. But you can see the moment in the video where Punk turns to Tony as well and, you know, says this is a joke, your company's a joke, etc., etc. And Tony feared for his life. Now, I'm not going to judge for that. You know, everyone's entitled to their own personal feelings. If he at the time feared for his life... He feared for his life. There's, you know, there's nothing we can say. Would I have feared for my life? Absolutely not. But it's one of them things. I mean, the whole thing looked like a, a schoolyard brawl, a schoolyard fight. I mean, I when I was in school, I saw fights that were a lot worse than this. Uh, it really feels like the whole thing has been completely blown out of proportion. And I think AEW is an absolute joke, really, for for airing this footage and drawing attention to it. And trying to make it look like, you know, Punk was the bad guy. Don't get me wrong. He was the aggressor of the situation. You never throw the first punch. You never instigate. He did. And he's justified that in his own way on the podcast. 
But AEW bringing attention to it. It just... These guys are meant to be a multi-million dollar promotion. They're meant to be the competitors for the WWE. The second biggest wrestling promotion in the world. In America anyway. Would you ever see WWE doing something like this? It's just, it's so immature. It's so indie, for a lack of a better term. It makes no sense. And I think Tony's, Tony Schiavone's reaction after it was aired, it says it all. And the thing is with AEW, you hear all these stories about the locker room. You hear the stories about how it's immature, how none of them necessarily respect the business they want to do it their own way they want to work a lighter schedule they want to do x y and z none of them taking advice from veterans and everyone tries to deny that that's the case and defend AEW. which you know at the end of the day when you break it down we know nothing the internet wrestling communities knows nothing were we there no can we have an opinion not really uh we can we can add our two pence in based on what we think's happened based on the stories we've been told but we weren't there. You know, it's, it's not black and white. We can only give so much. But the stories we've been told is that they don't respect, you know, the industry. They want to do things their own way. They don't take advice. Uh, I heard a story, Billy Guns apparently stopped giving advice because they just don't listen. Veterans of the industry, when you listen to them, giving him their two pence, realise that AW is... You know, not all it seems to be. Guys like Bully Ray, uh, Bubba Ray Dudley. Hell, even if you listen to Jim Cornette. I mean, that's a whole new can of worms. Um, but he, you know, he makes some very valid points on how the AEW is going. It's mixed feelings. It's mixed stories everywhere. Um, but this video is primarily just for me to, you know, stick my two pence in. Uh, contradicting myself. But... I just really think this was a dumb decision for AW as a business, for AW as a promotion. I really think they just should not have drawn attention to the all-in footage. They should not have used it just for some cheap advertising and get a cheap pop for ratings, which I don't even know if they did. I haven't seen the figures. I don't even know whether that worked or not. Um, but it just seems like unless AW makes a serious change in the way that it's being run, the way that it's being booked... And the way that the talent, uh, are, well, their attitude seemingly, I really don't think that this is this is going to be successful for the right reasons. You know, ticket sales down, ratings down, morale down. It's not going to die. It's not going to do a WCW because they're never going to run out of money. I mean, Tony's just going to keep funding it. But the overall business as a wrestling promotion, as a wrestling business, is going to go down the toilet if things don't change. AW seriously needs to make a change. Now, guys, I'm wanting your opinions on this. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. I want nothing but for AW to succeed. Ever since the beginning, I've wanted there to be an alternative to WWE. At the end of the day, it's a place for wrestlers to get paid without having to be the in the only place for wrestlers to get paid. It's great. I just really, really disagree with how things have been run over the last sort of 10 months. And since I started to develop more of an in-ring IQ myself, I guess you could say, and more of a, a mind for the business myself, I've realised that AEW doesn't, it's it's not for me what I want in wrestling. So I've stopped paying attention to the product. Uh, you're not going to see any AEW reactions or anything for me. I haven't reacted to this video and I haven't, I haven't added the security footage to this video purely because I'm seeing everywhere that AEW is copywriting and taking down anyone that uses the footage uh, which is absolutely ridiculous considering that they are the ones that distributed this themselves. Uh, and I know they, they didn't even upload it to their YouTube channel. I, I've seen it on Twitter. I've seen people posted it on YouTube. Those videos are probably gone. Uh, but if you search up, you know, AEW All In, CM Punk footage, I'm sure something will come up. Um, this whole situation is just a big joke, in my opinion. Uh, and it's ridiculous that a multi-million dollar company uh, is is doing this and distributing this footage and thinking that it's a good idea. 
Um, but once again, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. I'm interested to hear both sides. Do you agree with me? Great. If you don't, that's absolutely fine. We are all entitled to our own opinions. Please give me your counter argument in the comment section down below. I just ask that you keep it respectful as I will do in my replies. Anyway, that was that. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.